Hello, good evening. Yes, hello, teacher. Good evening. All right, I guess you're ready for your demo lesson. Am I correct? <laughs> yes, I am. I've been waiting <laughs> since uh, okay. 7 p.m. <laughs> All right, shall we start? Uh, yes, teacher. You can okay. start now. Uh, the textbook here is drinking tea and coffee. Yes. Hello. Welcome to Native Cam. My name is Teacher Mark. What's your name? Hello, Teacher Mark. My name is Jazz. Please call me Jazz. Oh, Jazz. That's a nice name. Nice to meet you, Jazz. Nice to meet you, too. Okay. How are you today? Doing good. Oh, good to hear that. All right. So before we start our lesson, I'd like to uh, check something. Can you hear me clearly? Uh, yes, I can hear you very well. Oh, that's awesome. And can you see me clearly in the video? Yes, teacher. All right. Awesome. So I can see here uh, our, del our uh, lesson for today is daily news. So the title of our lesson is we're basically we're going to study uh, drinking tea and coffee can lower the risk of the dementia and stroke. Are you ready to learn English? Yes, I'm ready, teacher. All right. First, let's have words and phrases. Uh, let's learn some of the words and phrases used in the article. Let's have the first word. I'll play the audio for U.S. pronunciation once. Please listen to the audio well. Are you ready? Yes, ready. Dementia. Dementia. Okay, very good. Can you repeat again the word? Dementia. Dementia. Okay, dementia. Very good. So dementia is a mental illness that causes someone to be unable to think clearly or to understand what is real and what is not real. So let's read the example sentence. Repeat after me. This patient suffers from dementia. This patient suffers from dementia. Great. Now, Let's make a sentence using the word. I will type it in the chat box. So can you give me a sentence using the word or noun, dementia? Okay, Bob has a dementia. All right, let me type your sentence. Mm -hmm. Bob has a dementia. Yes. This is a good sentence. However, it's better if you say Bob has dementia. So you can just remove the article A. I'll send the correction in the chat box. Could you please read the correct sentence? Bob has uh, demen Bob has dementia. Um, teacher Mark, why is it that we need to get the article A here? Oh, sorry. Let me check here. Bob has a dementia. Oh, yeah. sorry. You corrected Bob has <laughs> dementia. Why is it, teacher? Um... Uh, Because we only use article A if we are, if the next word is like, um, like a dog. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I apologize. You're correct. The sentence is already correct. My bad. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. As I was thinking about vowel, you know, vowel words, like the article A, N, or the, like, she has a dementia, that's a correct sentence. Bob has a dementia, that is a correct sentence. So it should be, yeah, you're right. Bob has dementia is a correct sentence. Uh -huh. No worries, uh, I'll just reapply you... after six months. <laughs> I guess I failed. All right, so teacher um, Mark, that's okay that you're able to correct the mistakes of your student, but I'm looking forward just only to support why you're able to correct it. Yes, you're right with your correction. Bob has dementia. Since it's not a collective noun, so you need to correct it. Bob has dementia. So please, um, what we call this one, correct your student 
and yeah, show some supporting answer. Okay. Anyway, wow, I'll be okay. retake your teacher. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bob has a dementia. Tama ba? Di mali daw ano? Bob has a dementia. Dapat Bob has dementia. Kaya ano nga tatanggalon ng A. Sorry guys, I failed. 